By 2040, Malaysia's demographic landscape will almost be evenly split between the young and the old. Professor Tan Mopin from University Malaya discusses the country's approach to supporting the older uh, population, particularly those living with dementia. Traditionally, Malaysia has always just funded health care, not enough, and practically zero funding to social care. So it is actually not right to give someone an appointment without knowing how they're going to get there. It's like, oh, you come and see me, but we don't know how you're going to come and see me. So um, then that means that the chances of you actually seeing me and making use of this appointment is actually hit and miss. So we, we, when we, we, health and social care should not be separated. And the, the intention of seeing that person in clinic should come with the arrangements to actually get that person from the point at their home to the clinic. Um, and that actually extends to the whole of um, healthcare now because we only consider life-saving treatments, extension of life. We, uh, we lack the ability to preempt, preemptive, preventive, um, and um, we also lack the ability to, um, to actually deliver restorative, rehabilitative care. And also, when, we, when, when cure is not possible, we also need to think about um, end-of-life comfort care. So our care at the moment is only looking at curative care, and that needs to be a huge amount of investment that goes towards a whole picture, which at the end of the day creates a much healthier population, much better cared for population, and actually helps our country econo economically. Tan outlined best practices that Malaysia could adopt from other countries to better serve the elderly. One of the things that we must, must do is to look at what other countries have done and what their experiences have been. Okay, one of those things that we must remember is don't copy. Because everyone who has uh, tried something would have made mistakes. And despite and, and it's very difficult to correct mistakes in huge government structures because then you're left with legacy of those mistakes. So one of the things that we, we do know good examples um, from, uh, we don't have to go as far as Western countries. We do know that countries such as uh, Japan, Korea, Taiwan have all developed very um, old age-friendly healthcare systems that are actually responsive and deliver um, um, cost-effective care to their older population. Those those are good good examples that we can examine uh, and um, not copy, but um, borrow things that went well uh, with um, through dialogue with these the governments and the the stakeholders. Uh, amend those things that um, were perhaps problematic. 